Gordon, I'll be here till 3.30, hopefully playing something you might like, something might tickle your ears a little bit or warm your innards. The song was Twister. Well, we've got a request coming up right now. This goes out to Catherine, who's uh, one of our loyal listeners right here on Afternoon Bluegrass here on WGOH. And she informed me she has a birthday. on. It's as long as I can remember, I wanted to be in the radio business. I used to sit when I was a little kid, and I'd be like five or six years old and have YouTube up or something, you know, and, well, that was such and such song by so-and-so, and you're listening to whatever station, letter, call letters I'd made up, you know, in my head, you know, and that's... Uh, Always, always loved it, always loved music and everything, so. I would say probably one of my favorite things in being a DJ is just the ability to get on the airwaves and talk to God knows who out there and play all your favorite music and uh, answer the requests and answer the phone and all that other stuff and get to hear from some loyal listeners and maybe some first time listeners sometimes and uh, just a real good time and uh, playing all the good music, so. Son of a Ramblin' Man from his album Tall Fiddler, that is Michael Cleveland and Flame Keeper featuring Legend. Always be listening to, and uh, I always enjoy it. Sometimes I'll get a request for something I maybe never even heard of, so that, that kind of opens opens your eyes a little bit and opens the doors to uh, get experience in a little bit different, a uh, little bit different from the mainstream of what you're always uh, always listening to. So that's that's one thing I would say it really helps with. All right, buddy, I'm ready when you are. I'm just trying to get it to stay in tune here. Okay, you just take it off whenever you're ready. Here's a song I wrote some time back, one called No Life to Live. It's snowing back home, so they say I wouldn't know I'm stuck here. About the age of seven, I kind of took up an interest in singing, and I actually played the spoons for a little while, but more or less singing for the most part. And, so ever since then, I've been playing and picking and singing. And music has always been the dream of mine, the biggest dream of mine, I guess I could say. And it's been uh, been good to me. I've been fortunate enough to uh, sell several records and to be able to tour pretty, uh, pretty much full time. A lot of people ask if uh, I have a writing process. I do not have a writing process. I will, uh, I'll on occasion see something that might inspire me a little bit and I think, well, somebody ought to write something about that and then I get to thinking a little bit more, well, why not me? You know, I've always said that it don't matter if I've got two people at the show or 2,000 as long as uh, maybe I can sing something that my audience might relate to just a little bit or that I can relate to. If I can't relate to it or my audience can't relate to it, I might as well pack it up and go on home. That's because they're, the, uh, they're the whole reason to do this thing. The only time you do is when you're dead This city life, it ain't no life to live Great.